For Faith Fill Friday today, I wanted to do something a tad bit different. I wanted to read a scripture to you and then pray. The reason why I wanted to do that is because we are in unknown territory with this COVID-19 crisis. And the scripture that I was reminded of while I'm getting ready for Faith Fill Friday was Psalm 141.3 in the message. It says, God, post a guard over my mouth. God, please set watch over the door of my lips. Because at that time, David knew and understood the power of his tongue. And he knew that he needed God to cover his mouth. And he knew that he needed God to set watch over what would come out of his mouth. Because it's not easy sometimes to speak nothing but life-filled things or faith-filled things when you're going through times of adversity. Right now, there is a lot of talk of depression. There's a lot of people speaking about anxiety. There's a lot of people speaking of things that are opposite of life. But I'm here to encourage you right before this Resurrection Sunday to remain positive in your outlook, to keep your faith, to stand firm in the word of God, and to stand firm in the promises of God, which are yes and amen. That right now we don't know what's going on and it's a new thing that we're all having to adjust to but remain life filled in your conversation. Do not speak off of what media says, but you speak off of what your God says. Do not speak off of your situation, but you speak off of what your God says about your situation and about you. So I wanted to do a quick prayer that God will cover our mouths and that everything that will come out of our mouths will be nothing but praise and worship and prayer and faith-based things and positivity until we can get through this thing as a body and together as a people. So Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for everyone who is under this video, watching it, understanding that your word is more powerful than any situation that we're in and that your word is life-giving. So Father God, in the name of Jesus, for those of you who are struggling with depression and anxiety, I ask that you help them, God, that you give them the peace that they need to pass all of their understanding. Father God, I ask that you give people the ability to guard their mouth with no negativity coming from it, but only positive things coming out of their mouths. Father God, I ask that you give people the strength that they need in your joy to be able to make it every single day through this time. Father God, I ask that any type of evilness or ill will or anger be removed from people's hearts right now in the name of Jesus. That anything that is attacking right now has to be gone in Jesus' name that we speak life over every person that hears this prayer. And I speak that everything that comes out of their mouth from this day forward will be a life-filled conversation, that they will begin to speak life over their finances, God, that they will begin to speak life over this situation, that they will begin to speak life over their families, over their jobs. So Father God, in the name of Jesus, the anointing of the life-filled prayer and praise and worship go out right now and cancel every negative talk, cancel every negative thought, cancel every negative motive in the heart and begin to fill it with your life, God. Fill it with your love, God. Fill it with your peace, God. Fill it with your joy and fill it with your understanding, God. Right now, give people peace so that they can speak life. Give people understanding, God, that have questions. Give people direction that need answers. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you and I praise you, God. And I thank you for every person that has listened to this video. In Jesus' holy name, we seal these prayers and we cover every person that's watching this video in the blood of Jesus. Amen.